warm welcome to AD4 TV radio news updates coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Joy Asoyen. 34-year-old black American man, Russell Ledet, has returned as a medical student to Baton Rouge General Hospital, where he used to work as a security guard and was studying chemistry on flashcards during his shift. Russell, who is an ex-Navy officer, now has a PhD. In an interview with BBC, Russell said, Nobody can tell you that you cannot do things in the world. Now I can tell my kids that everything you propose is possible. Meanwhile, Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 says August 29 resumption date for international flights announced by Aviation Minister Hadi Sirika is not certain as discussions are still ongoing on how the reopening of international flights will be achieved. The coordinator of the PTF, Sani Aliu, made the statement this Monday where he also stressed that authorities must meet the criteria before international air transport is allowed. In another development, former Chief Press Secretary to Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari and Chairman of the Board of Directors of News Agency of Nigeria, Malam Wada Maida, is dead. Maida, whose contribution to the growth of journalism in the country remains commendable, had no sign of any sickness when he slumped in his office this Monday, just barely five months after he clocked 70 years. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has arrested Ajayi Kayode, a serving lance corporal of the Nigerian Air Force, along with 26 others for alleged internet fraud. The EFCC on Monday evening disclosed on its official Twitter account that a military man with service number NAF18-34732 was arrested in his military attire along with the 26 others during an early morning raid by the Lagos Zonal Office of the Anti-Craft Agency in Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria. This happened on Saturday, 15th of August, following an intelligence report from concerned members of the neighborhood about his involvement in criminal activities. We take a break now. When we return, woman burns eight-year-old child over 50 Naira granite. Stay with us. Details coming shortly. Don't give us any excuses. If I can do it, If I can put on a mask And I can put on a mask So can you So can you So can you So can you Welcome back You're watching AD4 TV radio news update Premium motor spirit also known as petrol or gasoline is a critical component of the global economy and the price of petrol and its consequences on economic output is one of the most important issues confronting the world today. For the past five years, the price of petrol in Nigeria has been unstable from the 86 Naira per litre to 145 Naira, then 125 Naira and recently reviewed upwards to 142.80 Naira per litre. AD4 TV radio crew met with some motorists to ask how the fluctuation affects their operations. We know the effect, like when the price goes up, it affects, or it's not just some sectors, it affects all aspects because we know that um, mostly we fuel that we drive on, like if you want to go to the market, you have to, the transport fare will go up, the stuff in the market goes up. So for now, it's, 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 we can't say. I can't say it's good or bad, but we have learned to adapt to it. It affects me, not only me, more especially the most, those that don't have cars. Because where you used to enter Moto 15 era now, they will tell you 150 or 200. And uh, coupled with this economic uh, situation in the country, you know, people are finding it difficult. Meanwhile, an eight-year-old boy was rescued last Sunday in an Antigua local government area of Cross River State, South-South Nigeria, from his aunt after beating and burning his back over 50 Naira granite, an equivalent of $0.13. The Principal Council Basic Right Initiative, James Ibo, stated that his office received a call regarding the incident. He also said the boy's father had been summoned 
and a report has been sent to the police and also the Ministry of Disaster Management, Humanitarian Affairs and Social Development. Some lawyers of the Nigerian Bar Association have queried the inclusion of Governor Nasir Erufai as one of the key speakers at the forthcoming Nigerian Bar Association conference. Reacting to the inclusion of Governor Erufai's name on the list of key speakers, some of the lawyers who disenrolled from attending the virtual conference wrote via their Twitter handle that they were calling on the organizers of the conference to immediately remove Erufai's name from the list of speakers. Failure to do so would discourage more Nigerian lawyers from attending the virtual conference. Nigeria is a rich and complex country with several tribes, cultures, beliefs, and having more than 520 languages. Although these traditions and cultures appear similar, many Nigerians are not quick to accept marriage proposals from their partners of other tribes. AD4 TV radio crew visited the streets of Abuja, Nigeria to understand the reason for this. One of the reasons why most people want to marry within are not going to another another ethnic group, so to say, is because of understanding. First and foremost, one of the factors is understanding. One, if you are not from a particular um, ethnic group, the people there tend to kind of see you as you not being part of them. Personally, I may say that because of this uh, individual differences, you know, we have differences in religion, tribe, and uh, region. All the tribal concerns, times, our culture, you understand? Our culture, because I am also in the same shoe. I want to marry a lady, and, you know, their culture, the things she mentioned, you know, I don't think I can go with it because I, because of where I come from. And she was telling me that uh, her place, you know, when she died, in case, for example, you know, that I must carry her uh, cup, you know, to her hometown and other things like that. That's it on AD4 TV radio news update coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at AD4 TV radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at AD4TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am Joy Asoye.